Today I show you how to find your phone if you lost your phone, if you lost it, you forgot it somewhere, or it's somewhere in your home but you don't know exactly where it is. This is the Find My option in Google, in your Google account. And you can also use also this option to find headphones. So these are the Sony XM5 and the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. And I will try to find these options. I will try to find this with my old phone. So I have here my old phone and this is also I could find from, from one phone to the other. And let's see what happens. This could be useful when you forget your phone or you don't know where it is and even if it's locked. Even if the phone is locked it will work. The headphones are off so I'm gonna be it's gonna be curious now if to see if the headphones will work. So I have here, this is the Find My, you can get this in the Play Store and or you can find your devices or family devices. The most useful feature is not really when you lose your phone or it gets stolen. Usually when it gets stolen they will try to turn it off and I'm not sure if it's really going to, you're going to get your phone back. Usually you don't because they turn it off and they remove the parts from them. But this is most useful when you have your phone somewhere under a blanket and you don't know where it is. So. You know the phone is in the home, but you don't know where it is. So to do this, you can even get the location of the headphones if they are connected to a phone, I guess. But by themselves, the headphones is, even though they are really advanced, they don't have uh, GPS. But there is no location available here. The WH-1000XM5. You could see when you added the device name and details. You can also see who has access to the device to see if someone else has access to your device. You can also invite someone else to have to get the access to find these headphones or other headphones. I don't really care about the location of the headphones. I don't want to find the location, but I want to be able to play the sound. The headphones are off now, so it's going to be interesting if they can play the sound. Probably no. So it's trying to connect. Above there is going to be a map. Can't get location. So location not available, but let's play the sound. So it will work if there is another device linked to them. So for headphones really, for headphones it's not really useful because the headphones are off now. So it doesn't really work. Only if, only if the headphones were on and you couldn't find them, but then, what's the point? Only if the headphones were on, you couldn't find them, that would work, I guess. But the Sony Xperia 1 5 here is in standby. The phone is in standby, so let's try this. I hope I remember to blur this part out. This is where the location is, this is where the location is here. And this is the information, this is the name of the phone, when it was last seen, what Wi-Fi is connected to. And you can also see the recent location if you, whatever, go to the settings, I don't really care about that. I, you can secure the device. I think you could even do a remote wipe here, but I hope I don't do that by mistake because I don't want to wipe my phone. And I could play a sound. Okay, so it's playing now. So, if you see this notification, if you see this notification on your phone, it means someone is tracking your location. So that's that's the thing. Device located. Find find my device located. This device, and if you see this on your own phone and you, it wasn't you who triggered it, someone else has access to your uh, your device location can read more about it but this is the option here and now the notification is gone you would probably found you found the phone already by now in the other phone i still have the option to stop the sound but i already stopped it because i unlocked the phone here you can secure the device let's try it. let's try what happened let's see what's happening secure the device if you choose secure the device the device will be locked with its pin pattern or password. Okay, that's not bad. You'll be signed out of your Google account. Now why that? Because I would I would want the Google account to be there to keep it locked. So I guess it's not the same as iPhone. 
You can add contact info on the home screen or on the phone as it's locked or mark it as lost. And then if you mark it as lost, it's not online, you can get a notification when it's back online. So yeah, I wouldn't want to I don't want to do any of that now, so I'll close everything here just before I press something by mistake. So this is how you find the device. The most useful feature here is if the phone is stolen or lost somewhere outside, you can mark it as lost and you get a notification when it's back online. And also the play sound feature. So you find it because you don't know in which room it is or if it's under a blanket. This I used it a few times and it really works pretty well. Thanks for watching. It's asking me to try Gemini. Gemini. Do I? Should I try Gemini? I'm not sure. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about Find My Device and if you think the Apple one is better. I think the Apple Find My Device is much better. The iCloud lock, that's basically very difficult to remove unless they use the parts. For this one, it seems like the Find My Device will really only wipe the data on the device. Even that, it seems like it's only doing a logout. Thanks. Thanks for watching.